He just stood there, bold as brass. And when he heard the verdict, he had his little smirk on his face. I can't believe they let him off. Do you think they'd have let me off if it was me up there? All I know is that Nick Cotton murdered Eddie Wilde. Now he sat over there laughing. Have you seen him? Not yet, but when I do... He got off. There's nothing anyone can do about it. What do you reckon? You think people are going to sit back in this square and let scum like that live round here? Well, I can't see that they've got any choice. Yeah, well, there's no way I'm serving him in the pub. Well, it just makes my flesh creep to think about him. Yeah, it was the devil when we had the chance. What? Strung him up from a lamppost? And why not? It's the only thing scum like that understand. The judges won't do it, we should do it ourselves. Look, um, I bet we get him on. I'll see you later, Pete. Yeah, me too. Just don't bother I'll bump into him today, you know? Oh, see you later, Mark. Tea, thanks, Captain. He's still alive, then. Hey? You didn't get your throat cut in the middle of the night, Mark, yeah. Still got his feet up over there, has he? Who? The murderer. Cotton. Come on, Pete. It's not Nigel's fault he's out. I don't know you can breathe the same air as him. It's Mrs. Cotton I'm concerned about. No one cares about Mrs. Cotton more than I do. But every murderer's got a wife or mother out there. Don't mean to be allowed on the streets. Why don't you go over there, Pete? She could do with seeing an old friend. Ain't you been over there yet, Pete? What? And have cotton smoking at me. I'd rather eat glass. Are you back already? Yeah, I had a job around the corner. Just got the two here. Right. You want something with you? Couldn't tell you. He looks like Nick Cotton's PR agent. It's not funny, you know. They're telling me what they're going to do to Nick Cotton all morning. Yeah. Right, Catherine, open up, mate. Yeah. Oh, thanks for coming. Thank you. You can't just phone me and expect me to drop everything. I think someone right. should go over there and tell him he's not wanted. The same over the calf, you know. Everyone's stirred up. Oh, there comes a the head hangman now. Oh, Kath. Shell, I'd like you to meet Rose. Hello. She's an old friend of your mum's. And a new one of Pete's. Hello there. Uh, what can I get you? Uh, gin and tonic, thanks. Uh, gin and tonic, please. Hi, usual, Pete. I see you've been here before. Oh, you're joking. Pete's like those birds in the tower. If you ever left Wolf at the pub at all, Bear. Have you seen him, Pete? Who? Nick Cotton. Uh, no. I think someone should go over there and talk to him. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Want to sit down? Looks like you'll have to wear the sheriff's badge. All the girls fancied you. Did they? No one told me. No, you were too busy hanging out with the other boys. You all used to go to that cafe on the high street. That's right. The lessons I skived off so I could have a fag in that place. <laughs> I didn't even like smoking, really. You were always getting in trouble, weren't you? Yeah, bit of a tear away in them days. And you wore that leather jacket and your hair was slicked back. Don't be mind. We thought you looked like Elvis. Remember that Christmas dance? You've got a memory, haven't you? And you got up on stage with that group and started singing. Love me tender, love me sweet, never let me go. You have made my life complete, and I love you so. You've <laughs> <laughs> been putting Pete's beer. I don't know. Do you want a pint? <laughs> Michelle. You all right? No, I'm not. What's the matter? Give me some water, Michelle, will you? What are you going to do? I've been playing football in the park with Aiden, haven't I? Is that what it was? Yeah. Aiden, this is my sister, Michelle. And this is Kathy. Hello, Hi, Aiden. He's staying at Mum and Dad's for a bit. Oh, that's news to me. <laughs> <sighs> that's better. I'm back to work. Michelle will look after you. Now, what was it? It was no booze, no women. I don't think you actually count, Michelle. What was the other one? In by ten. In by ten. Oh, Mum will have you. All right. Mark? Oh, yeah, look. Take my advice. Don't go to the park with him. See Mark! Ya. Michelle, is this your dog? No, no. It belongs to the landlady. Can I take him for a walk, do you think? Oh, I don't know. You know, she's ever so fond of him. If anything happened to him... No, no. I'd take care of him. Oh, go on, Michelle. That poor old is Oliver around the block since Sharon went away. All right. I'll get his leave. But you look after him, yeah? Yeah, I will. I promise. 